Hi, it's Bella again. I'm here in Yellowstone National Park today. I've been looking forward to this trip for a very long time. I'm super excited to check out all the different things to do and see here. People have been telling me about this place since I was a little pup, and as hard as it is to believe, this was my first opportunity to visit this amazing national park. Dad and I just love the water, and he knows how much I like to play in the water, any water. It's our favorite thing that we get to share together. Look at that crow. Hey there, Mr. Crow. What should I see my first day in the park? The buffalo. The buffalo. Enjoy the park. Thanks, Mr. Crow. He sure was a helpful little crow. I hear that they can be mean, but I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. What's a buffalo anyway? Oh, that's a buffalo. He's huge and makes funny grunting noises. He's so big, he stopped all the cars. I hope he's not the only buffalo we see today. Oh, look what we have here. The Yellowstone River winds its way through Yellowstone National Park with crashing waterfalls in areas where the flow is calm and lazy. Did you know that it is considered one of the greatest trout streams in the world? Those ducks seem to be enjoying themselves diving underwater for fish that seem to be bigger than the ducks themselves. Isn't it just beautiful? Ah, uh, I love flowers. What the heck? Dad, Dad, I think the ground is on fire. LOL, just kidding. It's actually volcanic activity close to the surface. That's why the old faithful geyser that we'll visit in part two blows off steam every hour or two. Holy moly, here we are at Hayden Valley. What a beautiful place. If I was a buffalo, this is where I would want to live. Oh look, there's some crossing the road. That big fellow is tearing up the ground just to get a scratch. Look, there's more crossing the road. I don't think they care much about the cars. Seems to me they might just run into you for the fun of it. We came up on what looked like a whole herd and pulled over for a better view. I wanted to get out, but Dad didn't think it was a good idea. I was just kidding him anyways. Those buffalo are scary, especially the boys. Uh-oh, what's this? Hey, Dad, they're coming straight at me. Oh my gosh, what do we do if they run into us? Hey, hey, look, they're turning. Ah, oh, I'm so relieved. For a second, I thought it was all over for this little doggy. They got awfully close to my truck, but thankfully they didn't hurt it. One thing I do have to say is they could really use a bath, because boy, they sure do smell bad. Ah, what a cute couple. Hey Dad, what do you say we get out of here and head over to the hotel now? These buffalo make me a little nervous. Hey look, there's another big fella headed across the road. Hope no cars get in his way. Maybe the National Park Service should build a buffalo bridge so all the people don't interrupt their journey. Check out the buffalo that thinks he's Matthew McConaughey trying to avoid the paparazzi. Alrighty, finally safe and sound. I have to say, I'm a bit relieved to be back at the Lake Lodge Hotel. I'm still not really sure what to make of those buffaloes. I'm going to take a walk down to the lake and clear my head. Don't forget to check out part two of my Yellowstone movie next week. What a beautiful place for little Puff and her humans to go exploring. See you soon. Love, Bella!